Classic Country, 100.1 WGLC. Good morning. Joining me on the phone from Leica Studios, former Ervillian Brad Wald. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How you doing, Charlie? Doing good. Having fun on this Friday morning. Now, you have an exciting day today because a big project you've been working on is coming out to theaters, right? Yeah, it's really exciting. Kubo and the Two Strings is coming to theaters all over the U.S. tonight. Tell us a little bit about this movie. If you haven't seen the trailer, it's an amazing epic adventure with some really unique animation, right? Absolutely. I mean, Leica is all about stop motion animation with incredible visual effects. And this is our biggest and boldest film ever. In the last 10 years of Leica's history, we produced Coraline, Paranorman, and The Box Trolls. And Kubo and the Two Strings is the biggest thing we've ever done. Like you said, it's an epic story about a boy, a samurai warrior and all sorts of magic and action adventure (laughs) and being stop motion this isn't like gumby this is have to be seen to be believed because you guys use some amazing technology to make this all happen we do indeed we have a 500 person studio just outside of portland in hillsboro and we recruit the best magicians i call them but (laughs) artists from all over the world the sets they build the puppets and the intricate details are just phenomenal. And our animators themselves are such incredible talent. How they bring these characters to life and stop motion is usually for very slow moving scenes. To do it in this type of filming in an action adventure movie is just pretty incredible. I even understand the director had his hand in doing some of the animated sequences as well. So it's like an all hands on deck project to do this. Absolutely. Travis is a brilliant animator and he's, he's very fast and does incredible work. So all hands on deck indeed. Would you have gotten in serious trouble if you'd have gone down to the studio and tipped one thing over? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, yes. We're pretty protective of all our assets down there. (laughs) I can tell you're pretty excited to be involved in this movie. This is your first project you've done with Leica? It is. I just joined them end of January this year. So came in when production was nearing an end. So it was my responsibility to get out there and begin the marketing campaign for distributing this film with Focus Features and Universal throughout the U.S. and the world. Class of <laughs> 1982, an alum of Earlville, and of course, now you've moved on to rubbing shoulders with some Hollywood elite because you guys have some pretty famous vocal talents involved in this movie as well. We do. Of course, there's Charlie Theron, who plays Monkey, and uh, Matthew McConaughey, who I met the other day at the premiere, who plays the voice of Beetle, and Art Parkinson, who is Kubo. All brilliant voices who really got into their characters and became very passionate about the film. In fact, Matthew says it's the first film that he's been able to show his kids, and he's so excited about it for that reason. But they've all been a joy to work with. This movie is coming out today, expecting a big opening weekend for you guys, and glad that you're a part of it. What are some of the other things you've worked on in the past? So before I joined Leica, I was with NBC Universal for 10 years in London. Initially, what I helped them build was e-entertainment around the globe outside of the U.S. It wasn't known, and I, I made it become a household name. And then later on, I was chief commercial officer for the International Production Group, and one of our biggest shows was Downton Abbey. So I helped commercialize that around the world, and it became quite the success. <laughs> and all that started from just a farm kid from Earlville. Well, thank you very much for joining me on the phone this morning. Kubo and the Two Strings in theaters tonight. Thank you so much, Charlie. A big shout out. Hello to all my hometown friends and family. (laughs) We'll make sure we get the word out. Thanks for being on the phone with us this morning. Brad Wall, Classic Country, 100.1 WGLC.